For the special people on your gift list, giving Mr. Coffee is the delicious way to say Merry Christmas. Everyone would love to have Mr. Coffee. It's America's number one coffee maker. Mr. Coffee with Coffee Saver brews delicious coffee fast, and it saves coffee, too. When you give Mr. Coffee for Christmas, every delicious cup will be a reminder of your thoughtfulness for years to come. This Christmas, give Mr. Coffee. female breast, known to be the source of life since Eve, can be deadly weapons. This is the story of Crystal, who danced her way to murder. She avenged her lover's death with the only weapon she had, and they would... Deadly weapons. She was his tool to be loved and then cast aside until he met his fate by the deadly weapons. Sunday, it's time for coffee. I'm Jeff. So, what's new and uh, new in the world of coffee with Jeff? Well, we got the mugs in since our last uh, broadcast. The final versions came out a lot better this time. Dave's artwork looks beautiful. And bigger news than that is we've sold a couple mugs. We've sold uh, two magnets, I believe, and two mugs. Thanks. Uh, Terry and Marty for your purchases, and I sort of lied last time. Oh, I didn't lie. I, I mentioned the fact I need a new computer, and that's why I was trying to sell this stuff, and that was sort of true, but I've got a new computer, so the sales of this merchandise is not really for a, a new computer. The fact of the matter is that um, I'm really tired of, well, going to work every day. I'm really, I'm really, I want to retire soon. <clears throat> and of course, mortgage, bills, blah, 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 food. I, apparently eating's an important uh, thing nowadays. There's no way I can retire. So, I need to sell like thousands of these a week so I can retire. So what I've done was, I started this chart here. You can see that? Um, so when I get to the top... That means Jeff retires. And so since I sold two magnets and two mugs, we can draw a little thin line. <clears throat> so as soon as this whole thing becomes red, Jeff retires, and I'm a happy person. Hey, I drink my coffee with Jeff. Why well, don't even drink coffee? Some of the changes that um, I'm implementing in Coffee with Jeff this season is more original material, as you might have noticed from today's show. Less dependent on, I'm trying to be less dependent on uh, those YouTube clips and old clips I find. I'm still going to have those, but not as much because, well, it's sort of a cop-out. And I'm, The reason why I do this is because I like playing with the video. So, and uh, But if you want to be a part of it, feel free to let me know. If you want to write things, be in things, make things, whatever can be a part of Coffee with Jeff. I mean, we've always had On the Road with Willie, which is always a segment I look forward to every week, and 
Now we've got uh, Manchester Gallery, which I hope my friends uh, Terry and Pam keep producing for every show because those are hysterical. And one change too is, um, well, last season we never had a cameraman. I did all, I set the camera up on a tripod. And this season we still don't have a cameraman. I'm here by myself in the morning with the camera on a tripod, but I do have the power to zoom. Why is this big? I found my remote. So, so, how do you like your coffee? Crisp. You like your coffee crisp. I like my coffee crisp. Oh, I'm supposed to laugh now. You don't know from jokes. You never did. Well, excuse me for leaving. Ah, oh, face it, dear. You know Jane Rivers. Well, your opinion. Coffee crisp makes a nice, light snack. So, so... Next week on Coffee with Jeff, we're going to start something new, poker lessons. Many of you out there know that uh, I am a poker player. I love playing the game. And so I thought, in a, way, in a way to encourage other people to join us in our weekly game, I'd start out with some very basic poker lessons, and as the weeks go by, move into the, the art of playing poker. Um, there is an art to the game, and the whole, the whole theory behind this would be is if I can encourage other less experienced players to join our weekly game, I could probably win some more money. Terry runs a blog that I think you should all visit. It's called Broken Hearted Toy. It's a rock and roll blog, a lot of good rock and roll information, um, a lot of Holly's information, because Terry is a big Holly's fan, but it's a wonderful site. And if you go to my site, Coffee with Jeff at blogspot.com, you can find the link or just look here or watch the credits at the end of the show. Um, so you might wonder why, backtracking here, why um, I don't have a camera man to, to film coffee with Jeff, or camera person, camera operator, whatever is politically correct nowadays, why I don't have one to uh, film coffee with Jeff. I mean, I am married after all, right? The fact of the matter is, my wife thinks I'm sort of, I don't know, insane for getting up at 4.30 on a Sunday morning. So... That's not going to happen. She's right now in bed sleeping where most people are at this time on a Sunday. But uh... Well, that about wraps up Coffee with Jeff for another week. I'll be back in two weeks. I just wanted to explain that uh, at the end of the show, you'll hear a indie rock song during the closing credits, and this this song is a song that you can download legally for free, and which is what something I encourage. I mean, don't uh, bands like uh, U2 uh, have enough of your money, really? I mean, and they're always on the radio anyway. So why don't you um, support an indie band, and uh, you'll, you'll be surprised how much good music is out there for free. Um, of course, like always, you can go to www.zazzle.com slash underbelly for your complete line of Coffee with Jeff merchandise. And uh, I do appreciate the few that have uh, bought uh, Coffee with Jeff merchandise. That's uh, Marty and Terry. Thanks a lot. <laughs>